Well, hello friends, this is Jeff playing Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail, American Campaign, on a hard difficulty and hard land and sea, I guess you could say. Alright, Take Her Back is next. Yeah, I'm kind of like hurting for money and stuff, and I'm going to have a little bit of rep. And I don't have any more points, so let's get to it. All right. All right. Oh, this is old true love. Okay. And then they're going to have more that come with more ships. And they say, don't risk boarding, Captain. Just sink it. Yeah, right. If I sink it, I don't get any money. And it takes longer to sink ships in this game anyway, so... And it always seems that the AI can hurt my ships more than what I can hurt theirs. And so that's why I always resort to boarding. But we're gonna, uh, let's, like, 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 like all my ships to be going a certain way, but on full sail. And this one's gonna come at us, so I shouldn't really aim for it. We should aim for what we need to do is get that ship. You gotta watch the wind too. The wind is kind of going that way. Like that. Alright, let's go a little faster. Let's go ahead and go a lot faster. Because they're gonna have about five or six more ships covered, I think. Alright, now as we approach, we're going to have to slow her down, get it back to normal. And I can't let that ship get away, but we got to definitely take this ship out. Yeah, your job is to get over there and get that one. Okay, well, I'm trying to anchor to, to lock him in right there. Man, he's hurting my ship. I mean, shooting, shooting both of these guys, shooting at him, he, he should give up real quick. Okay. All right, so we got that ship. Now we got to go get this one. 
Matter of fact, should have both of them go there. Now this little guy. I know that, yeah, here come the other ships. Or well, they should be coming. I, I see the red, red marker right there. But first thing is, I definitely got to get this puppy right now. I'll turn. All right, we got it. Now, unfortunately, I have to take 71 off to get it. I can finish? What? Oh, okay, hold on. Um, anchor. There's more ships coming, let's see. Oh, yeah, look at this big guy. 280. Ah, oh, this is a fifth rate. Is that the only one coming? Oh, I thought there would be more transports. Must be thinking of a different battle. All right, now the question is, do I want to face a fifth rate with 280 on it? I don't think so. Yeah. Um, now I'm wondering why. Is that because I have the Lions, which is a... Wait, that's a seventh rate. Right? Um, what was this ship? Yeah, that's a seventh rate. Yeah, and this, okay. So the only the, okay, so it's good that um, the moment you destroy or capture that ship, you can end the mission. Unless you want to fight that, but I'm going to tell you that that fifth rate will wipe out all these ships pretty much. I mean, yeah, I got 180 here, but that's about it. So yeah, I'm going to finish. I'm not going to fight. I'm not going to fight that uh, ship. It's going to be too much. And, I, and I'll tell you this, folks. Even if I had my three ships fully armed with 170, 170, and 180, it would still be a hard job just to take out that one fifth rate, in my opinion. So, yeah. So, I, I like the change in this where you don't have to run to a red zone or something and that you can just end the battle and I'll tell you this if you sink it you won't get 10 grand which in the American campaign you need as much money as possible So I hope you don't mind me talking like that. Like I like giving out information or giving you what I think or thought or whatever. So anyways, we're going to, as always, going to repair the ships. And now, you know, I still have these to figure out what I'm going to do with them. All right. Now, with that said, and I did that, I'm going to go ahead and save. All right, take her back. So yeah, we just had to get old true love. Yeah, and so I ask you, why would you want to sink 
true love when you can get true love, right? You can add it to your fleet. But it's going to cost 20. Oh, man. Well, I'm going to have to get rid of this ship. So, yeah, if I were to... If I would have, if I could get rid of the Catherine, that would give me 21, and it would cost 20, but, yeah, I can't really do it, because I'd only have one rep, and I wouldn't even be able to do anything, so, yeah, I can't do that, it's too bad. All right, well, let's see if we can go ahead and I like, I, like I said, I like topping off my crews. Well, they didn't even, they only lost a couple of guys. All right. Well, I got a, we do have a point here. Yeah, I'm going to really go on selling and and purchases. After the next battle, I might put one more point into luck cuz I'll have a couple of those to do. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Because I'm just kind of strapped for money and stuff. Alright folks, I think um, the next one is going to be the Chelsea River. So I'm going to have to make... I got to figure out, um, I'm going to have to make a couple of infantry units, I guess. But I might, I might, I mean, if you, if you, I don't know. Yeah, let me do that. I'll take four and buy that. So I can at least make those uh, fuselers. And on the Erliston, um, Ah, right, look, we got 500 of these. Ah, but I won't be able to put... Okay, hold on. I think it's 185 is the max I can put on these. Ah, uh, yeah, I was right. See, 390, 390, so 185 is the max that I can do. All right, at least the uh, Earlston has um, two units on it, and they have a crew of 20, so. 
I mean, that's the only thing that I would have done off camera if I didn't do that just now. So I'm happy with that change. I mean, I, you know, not much money, not much rep. So I'll go ahead and just save that over there because that's an acceptable uh, thing that I did. All right, folks, anyways, no matter where you are in the world, have a good morning or a good afternoon or a good evening. Have a great day. Be kind to each other. This is Jeff wishing you the best. God bless you and your own religion. And I'm going to say this is Jeff signing out. Adios, amigos.